Hey, what's going on everyone? This is me, Rick Barrett, and I welcome you all back to another video. This is not my usual video format of SMP series. This video is going to be a bit different. Basi uh, this video is going to be me showcasing what I think are the best mods for Minecraft 1.16.5. So without further delay, let's get straight into the video. So everyone, for all the mods that I'm going to be showcasing today, you're going to be requiring Fabric and Fabric API, links to both of which will be down below in the description. So go download both of them. Um, uh, Fabric is just uh, is basically a mod loader just like Forge, but I prefer using Fabric for the latest versions of Minecraft like 1.16.4 and 1.16.5. So, without further delay, let's see the first mod that I've got on the list. So everyone, the first mod on the list is actually a pretty renowned mod and one of the most used, used mods out there, which is going to be Optifine. So basically what Optifine allows you to do is, uh, one of the things it allows you to do is use shaders and also improves, drastically improves your FPS while you are playing the game. Uh, Optifine uh, doesn't work for fabric without the Opti fabric mod. Uh, again, links to which will be down in the description. So go check that out. Optifine is a pretty good mod. I use it. Uh, uh, I basically use it for shaders and also because of the FPS boost it gives while playing the game normally. So let's head on into the next mod. So everyone, the second mod on the list is going to be Zyro's Minimaps, which is, as you can see, on the top left corner of your screen, which basically adds a minimap to the game uh, for those people who get lost <laughs> finding their way around the world. Uh, this is a pretty good mod and it's basically a replacement for Journey Map, which is on Forge and on the older versions of Minecraft. So it basically just adds like a uh, minimap which you can zoom in and zoom out of and you can also add uh, waypoints so like for example I have my home here I can just name it home I can change the color to whatever I want like dark red and it basically creates a a little uh, waypoint over here called home so that way you can always open up the map and see where you, ha you are headed and which waypoints are where and basically find your way around the world a little bit more easily So third mod on this list is actually going to be uh, two mods bunched together because they work brilliantly together. So the first one of the mods being present footsteps which basically adds uh, different footsteps when you are walking on grass, stone, leaves and things like that. And the second mod is going to be dynamic sound filters which basically adds reverb and ambient sounds to the game like when you are in a cave like this it adds quite a lot of filter um, echo and reverb so right now i'm just going to sh i'm just going to stay quiet and let you listen to the mod So for the fourth mod we've got a really simplistic mod which really doesn't add much to the game but it is at the same time really really useful which is going to be orderly which adds these health bar over mobs uh, telling you how much health the mob you are looking at or the mob has. So if I punch the sheep you can see that its health drops down to 75% after punching it twice and if I just punch it a few times more you can see it's at 18.75 and you can see the exact amounts of hearts the sheep has left which is 1.50 and same for any other mob you come across either be it hostile or either it be passive like cows sheep or zombies so yeah this is a pretty useful mod uh, when you are you know in a horde of mods, uh, mobs and you just want to you know uh, kill a few mobs like uh, if I have a cow farm I can see that I don't kill every single mob in the farm. So 
So the next mod on this list is called as Apple Skin, which is a pretty simplistic mod, but it is really, really useful for foods. So as you can see on my hunger bar, if I hold this carrot right here, it shows me how much hunger it is. It actually fills and also how much saturation it gives. So as you can see that yellow flashing over my food uh, bar is the saturation that this carrot is going to give me. This particular food item is going to give me while the saturation like one and a half in this case is the saturation that I have left in my food bar. So you can see it works for every food type like this golden carrot, even raw beef. So it's a really useful mod uh, if you, you know, and it also the good thing about this mod is like it's all client side and it also works with other mods that add custom foods. So in that, in that case, it is a really useful mod. So, all right, the next mod is actually going to be a mod that's not going to be so useful for the more experienced players of Minecraft, but more useful for the newer players that have just gotten into Minecraft. So this mod is called Wyla, uh, Wyla, if I'm not mistaken. And basically what it does, it tells you what you are looking at. Like right now, if I take a look at this spruce log, it clearly tells me at the top that it's a spruce log and it, it, it is a really good mod if you are playing with other mods on which had custom blocks, custom ores. Uh, so it's really useful to tell like for example uh, if you are playing a mod pack it's really sometimes confusing to know which block you're looking at. It could be anything so if you just take a look at it it'll clearly say on the top like which block you're looking at. So it's really useful for newer players who don't know what block they're looking for and yeah you can use, uh, use this to easily find out what block you're looking at. So the last mod on this list is actually going to be replay mod uh, and unlike the mods that I've showcased today it's a mod that's not really useful when you're playing the game normally but it can be used to create cinematics and you know just general videos funny clips in Minecraft while you're playing uh, it the mod basically records the server that you're playing on in the background and later on you can open up the mod and edit the uh, camera path so like right now if i want a small little cinematic i can play a i can place a time keyframe and camera over there and i can just go forward here and place another and in the end you can just render it and see you have got a small little cinematic right here uh, which took me next to no effort so this mod is really good if you're trying to record cinematics time lapses or even just want to make funny clips from your gameplay. So everyone, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel. That really helps out. And hit that like button. And if you want more mod showcases, I can put them together. And if you want more, so just leave down a comment letting me know what you want the next mod showcase to be about. And uh, these are these were all the mods that I use frequently on Minecraft 1.16.5, even on the NSG SMP. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. And this is going to be me, Rick Byte, now signing off. I'll be seeing in seeing you all in the next video. Till then.